Alright guys, we are back on Live is Strange part, I mean, before the storm, so yes, um, I kinda make myself look like an idiot from two videos ago, part one was already uploaded. Country music? Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Burning the midnight all again. <laughs> what a beautiful day. I guess Mom left her purse back here. Dad, turn it up. Oh yeah, I totally forgot I had the copyright song. I know oh. what a spark plug does, jerkwad. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. Oh shit! Oh good god! You're gonna be late. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Hell. Black Hell. Oh, I get it. Black Well, Black Hell. Good luck, seniors. Hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So... How about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but... I was So that dude thinking, there is Elliot. Do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's... Totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Where's the picnic, ta picnic tables? Oh, there's Steph.
Ah, oh, cor- oh. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Oh, I forgot Sweet. that. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Ah! I don't. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, <laughs> you should join the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> nice. I could totally see myself. Okay, as you know an what this barbarian. game reminds me of? I know. The Telltale Games. All right. That let's get started. Guys, shut down you back in 2018. Both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elama, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernum. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says... I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raider's training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Oh, man. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? It's tent time. Are you sure you want to skip the training ground and the prison camp? You heard me. Let's do the boss battle. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak. Gripping a two-handed sword. Oh god, you look like that muscle from Duke Nuka forever. His laughter bellows. <laughs> Your lands and people <laughs> are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. Oh good guy, you have the cave. Asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. 
Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit! All of my battle spells are fire-based. Calamastia? What'll it be? I want to punch that stupid man-cow in the dick! Like, right in the dick? Ah! Right in the dick! You miss. Durgeron burst out laughing as you stumble past him. Asshole. He gores you in the ah! side with a horn. Asshole. Eight damage. Ouch. What do you do next? What's Wrathful Rush? It's like a shoulder slam, an angry, angry shoulder slam. Okay, I do that. You scream with wrathful rage, then charge. Durgeron is caught off guard, and he fails to dodge. You slam your shoulder into him, knocking him back and doing some damage. <sighs> Hell yeah. Next? Yeah, man. Oh, holy shit. Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? Boom! That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock. Collapsing onto the ground in a clay. You know what this is a reference to me of? Your axe swings wide. Maybe to Fire the side. Emblem. Or Final Lucky, Fantasy. Roll a reflex save. Oh no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his no, bloody no, 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 no. Stomp. 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 Mikey's character my bad. Sort of. What should I do? I, uh... I don't know. Shit. I dance to distract him. You... Dance to distract him. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. 16? <laughs> what? What? Your crappy arrhythmic dancing is weirdly mesmerizing to Durgeron. He pauses with his sword in midair for 10 seconds, buying Elmon time to crawl away. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges. Thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. And we're even. You feel your strength. Draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? I take one last swing at Durg. Durg face's head. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing, catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight, and cannot be harmed. I guess... I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah, I want to play some anytime. of this. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds.
DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Where is chemistry class? Samantha. Flowers always make me think of springtime, which makes me think of summer, which makes me think of getting the fuck away from Blackwell for three whole months. I love flowers. Something's definitely missing from that totally blank wall. Oh shit! Last night's show was too epic. Oh, I got a Joey for that? If I'm late to class, that's just one more Say excuse hey, for mom to the drugs. David on me. Is that a Hulk, is that a Hulk Hogan Easter egg? Holy crap, that is a Hulk Hogan Easter egg. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Yeah, that literally is a Hulk Hogan Easter egg. What, mom? I am middle of a video. I'm not even loud. Okay, there we go. What, what the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa. You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Yeah, we gotta put this... Back this off, idiot. Nick Kane down. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Look at yourself, then look at him. That's hardly fair, don't you think? Are you crazy? Mind your own business, freak. When Nathan goes crying to Lord Prescott, everybody here will be stuck doing sensitivity seminars all week. I fucked up, then I? All talk, no game, huh, Chloe? Booyah! <laughs> that took me months to put together! 
Quit the team, Twitch. For your own good. Shit. Next time, mind your own business. You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Oh, good. You're here. I mean, I tried to defend him. I literally did. I do beseech you. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden... You're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. Nice. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just <laughs> know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit, and don't, like... Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Is that a 
sword, a bow, and... If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for uh, the Tempest. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I hope I don't get in trouble with this. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. <laughs> I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Too Maybe it low? doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. I am itching my arm. Hold still. This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Much better. Wow! Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Ooh. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? 
wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when oh, you're talking shit. about I, true I love totally and forgot how this game has a bunch of references. I guess you could say I'm good with people. He found a Blade yeah. Runner reference don't pull from the first movie about like all DVD will get and on stuff. This train. And a Easter egg that <laughs> was like a picture of Hulk Hogan. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let's do something.